Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast for the 28th through April 3rd. We do have a new moon on April 1st in Aries at the beginning of the Lunar New Year. New moon, fresh start, clean slate energy. We're going to see what's coming up for Cancer. You might stumble upon this video outside of the time frame I mentioned. That's just fine. You're going to find it whenever you were meant to. When it was time to hear the messages, keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective, so not every single message will resonate. Take what does, leave what doesn't. You may need a private reading. Ooh, Cancer. <laughs> First card coming up for you, my babies, is the Two of Cups. So, some of you are going to be coming into this energy as we're coming to this new moon where you're manifesting uh, harmony in your relationships. Now, two of cups can absolutely positively be soulmate love, soulmate connection. So some of you could be manifesting a significant other, okay, or like a significant relationship. Uh, not everybody's focused on love, though. So some of you may just overall be manifesting more harmonious relationships and connections. The two of cups can be a uh, resolution of a conflict, being able to get over uh, a disagreement or some kind of impasse that you've been at for a while with someone, whether it's romantic or not, finding solutions and being able to move past it. Now, some of you have heard me say the two of cups for me is the energy of giver meeting giver. A lot of the times when we're givers, unfortunately, we attract takers. And they take until there's nothing left. And then they, you know, discard us and they go and they find new supply. Two of Cups is giver meeting giver. So these are the kinds of relationships and partnerships that can go on forever. Because each person is always asking, what can I do for this person? How can I be of assistance? What might they appreciate? Oh, I'm sure they would like this. And the other person is doing the same for you. So it's two people who are filling each other's cup. And so this is a very uh, happy, fulfilling connection, very harmonious, um, long-term uh, relationship, long-term connection. Now, the dolphins are really jumping out at me. And so the dolphins are giving me a sense of playfulness. I feel not only are you manifesting a harmonious connection, but you're manifesting playfulness or somebody who you can have fun with, someone who you can let loose with, somebody who you can have a good time with. Lotus is also jumping out at me, so it could be that you're manifesting connections with more spiritual people or people who are spiritually minded or who are awake. So, again, people have different focuses. Some of you want this to be romantic. Other ones of you aren't interested necessarily in romance, but in harmonious connections and uh, soul family kind of connections. And so you're manifesting these harmonious conne connections or relationships. There could also be added harmony to existing relationships because we did talk about resolution of conflict. The next card that's coming up here for Cancer is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is a card that comes up when we're breaking out of karmic cycles, when we're breaking out of the patterns and the cycles and the agreements that no longer serve us. So you may be breaking out of past life agreements or... Um, tendencies or habits that have been holding you back. The Ten of Swords is also a card that can come up when we're entering a time of sobriety. So if you've been having issues with self-medication or substance of some kind, the Ten of Swords can indicate that you're coming into a time of sobriety. You're finally kicking the habit, so to speak. I also see Ten of Swords come up a lot of the times when it's time for an upgrade it's time to reach for something bigger. It's time to reach for something more. And this can be kind of bittersweet. Some of you are preparing to leave 
uh, situation. Maybe it's a living arrangement. Maybe it's a job. Maybe for some of you, this two of cups is some kind of an upgrade. So you may be leaving one relationship for another. And maybe it was like once upon a time when this came in, this was a really big deal to you. Once upon a time, this was like, like a godsend or an answer to a prayer. But now you've outgrown it. And now it's time for the next thing. So there's this bittersweet aspect to it. On one hand, it's painful to stay in the situation because you've grown too much. And it hurts to make yourself stay into something that is too small for you. And on the other hand, you might feel just a sense of relief and happiness when you think about moving on or moving forward. But you're grateful for what the situation brought you. And once upon a time, it was a really big deal. And so you can be grateful, but also realize that it's time to reach for more. Also realize that it's time for the next step or the next transition. So there's this bittersweet sense for some of you where you're moving on to better horizons or better opportunities or uh, coming into a time of, uh, you know, uh, going for an upgrade of some kind. The next card that's coming up here for you guys is the Ace of Cups. This is a powerful reading, Cancer. This is beautiful. And you have repeating rainbows, right? This could be the chakras clearing and aligning and running on all cylinders. Uh, the rainbow is representative of a promise, a promise of peace, of protection, of safety. Um, different cultures will have different uh, meanings to it. So I would encourage you to ask yourself, what does the rainbow mean to you? What do you think of when you see the rainbow? Because rainbow is being emphasized here. There's a message here for you guys with rainbow. We've got the double rainbow, like the double rainbow guy, right? So there's this sense here that this is being something emphasized for you in the cards. The lotus also, that awakening, that coming out of the mud and blooming and blossoming. Ace of Cups is a very positive card, very positive message overall. Because Ace of Cups can be a new home. It can be emotionally fulfilling and rewarding work, uh, soulmate, true love, uh, happy times. It's a very positive card. And the Ace of Cups is very special for me because for me in my readings, Ace of Cups comes up a lot of the times when you're breaking out of um, like this. Well, actually, the fact that it's coming up after the Ten of Swords is perfect because you guys have heard me talk about breaking out of a karmic cycle. So Ace of Cups is coming up to tell us that what you're breaking out of is a karmic cycle, right? Sometimes we have the same thing happen to us again and again and again. No matter how many times we change jobs, we have the same terrible boss. No matter how many times we change friends, we have the same backstabby, gossipy friends. No matter how many times we change relationships, we end up with the same kind of partner. When the Ten of Swords comes up, we're breaking that karmic cycle. And Ace of Cups for me is emphasizing that. Ace of Cups is saying you're coming out of a karmic cycle because you have learned what the common denominator is. You see what the red flags are. And you're like, you know what, universe? I am sick and tired of suffering. Life is too short. I want to be happy. I refuse to hold space for these kinds of situations in my life anymore. And I've learned my lesson. And the next time I spot a situation like this, oof, I'm going to see it from a mile away and I'm going in the other direction. I refuse. I refuse to deal with this ever again. I want to be happy. The universe says awesome, wonderful. Cancer is awake now. Cancer no longer needs these painful experiences to poke them to wake up. Now that cancer is awake, Cancer is ready to learn through success, support, happiness, laughter, creativity, love, inspiration, all the wonderful positive ways. It's like 
you you get to leave the the mean teacher class and you get to be in the class with the fun teacher. That's what the Ace of Cups means for me. You're turning over a karmic leaf and you're coming into a time where now you're going to learn through joy instead of learning through pain. Really being emphasized here, Cancer. You guys are breaking out of long-term karmic cycles. Not only are you breaking out of a karmic cycle, you're changing the way that you learn your lessons. Now you're going to learn through happiness and joy instead of learning through pain. You don't need the pain anymore. It no longer serves you. Now you're upgrading into something higher. The next card that's coming up here for Cancer is the Four of Wands. Now... Um, who else got the Four of Wands as their last card? I want to say Leo did. Some of you could have a Leo placement, or you could be dealing with a Leo, because they also got Four of Wands as their last card, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the Four of Wands, a lot of people are used to watching uh, Tarot for Love and Romance, and we do have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. So this could indicate true love and marriage, wedding, right? We have those stereotypical meanings that we attach to these cards uh, because it's the, like the common accepted ways of seeing it. And that can be the case for some of you. Some of you could very well be manifesting marriage or the renewing of vows or some kind of destination wedding. That could definitely be happening for some of you. However... Uh, in the weekly forecasts, I try to focus on everything other than love and try to make it about the journey and the different ways that the cards apply. So the Four of Wands is going to be stability, security, long-term abundance, a sense of home, a sense of really being able to lay down your roots. Um, it's also a card that can come up that not only do you have a sense of home, but you have a sense of community. You have your circle. You have people to celebrate good times with. You have a community that you belong to when the Four of Wands is present. The Four of Wands could also indicate some kind of reunion or homecoming or gathering uh, that might be coming up that you might be finding yourself invited to. I do feel for some of you, however, that this would be like a long ways, like it would be a long travel. It would be something that maybe you're going to have to really invest in attending. So you may be receiving an invitation or hearing of an event and you're like, wow, I really want to go to this, but I'm going to have to travel. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some money. I'm going to have to ask for time off. But this is saying that this is something that's going to be worth your while. This is something in which it might even give you a sense of you're establishing connections with people that you're going to keep in touch with and you're going to have a sense of familiarity with. Or it might open up opportunities that are leading to security or abundance or just overall happiness and good times, happy memories, right? So um, this is an interesting dynamic here. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you click on the link in the description of this video, it'll take you to the scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. If you want to check out the daily cards, make sure you do that as well. People have been asking me to pull a card of the day just for like a little daily pep talk. And people have been finding that helpful as well. Be sure to check those out. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. Take care, Cancer. Be well, my dears.